In this video, I would like to show a few aspects of working with MemoQ in a project that has multiple term bases attached. This is a project in which I am reviewing a Portuguese translation of an English firefighting brochure. And let's take a look at the term bases that are attached right now. There are three of them. The first priority term base is for the customer's proprietary term base. And in the second rank, there's a general term base for Portuguese and English. And the third ranked term base is one for Portuguese law in case there are legal terms that come up and are relevant. I can write them into that particular term base. It should also be noted that of the three term bases attached, only the highest ranked term base, the customer's proprietary term base in this case, is selected for use in quality assurance work later, in case I do a QA check with a profile that also includes terminology. So let's go back to the document and have a look. Now, the first term that I've highlighted here, firefighting, is already in the term base, as we can see over on the right-hand side. There, uh, you see the source term, firefighting in English, and there's no target term in Portuguese. Let's have a look at that particular translation result. And if you look at the bottom of the translation results window in the, in the display with the specific details of that hit, you'll see that I've got a German entry. That's because I'm filling in Portuguese terminology in a term base that's usually used for a German to English translation. In this particular case, when I take a look at the Portuguese translation, I don't see a term that I really want to enter in the uh, Portuguese target for this term entry. So I'm going to apply a filter on the source side and see what other occurrences of the term can be found in this particular translation. And maybe one of those will be more appropriate. And here you can see on the right hand side in the source filter field of the term that I've highlighted. And there are four occurrences of it in the translation. Looking through the various alternatives in the target side here. Okay, I, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and accept that one. In this particular case, because the term is already in the term base, I'm going to copy the target side, and then I'm going to go over to the translation results and right-click on that particular entry and choose View Edit. And there I'm simply going to paste the Portuguese term into the target language field. Click the plus sign to add the term. Yes, I'll accept fuzzy matching as the default there. And click OK. And now, when we look at the target term, we can see it here in English, and then below that, the Portuguese entry, and then, if it's of interest, the German entry down below that. So all of the languages that are entered for that particular term will be displayed in the information window for the selected term in the translation results. OK, now to remove that filter and look at the rest of the translation. I click on the little magnifying glass icon with the X in it. Okay, now the filter has been removed and I can see the rest of the translation. So let's look through here and see what other terms might be of interest. Okay, here's a word that I'd like to enter. Uh, resources. It's a general term, so let's click Add Term here and check. OK, I've got the settings on this particular project so that the default term addition commands will add the term to two of the three term bases that I've got selected. So you can, in fact, select multiple term bases by using the drop-down menu in the term addition 
dialog and check mark those term bases to which you want to add any new entries. And here, as you see, I've got two of the three term bases added. So when I click OK, this new term will be added to both my general term base and my client specific term base. OK, let's look down a little bit further. OK, now here's a term, high pressure vortex. Again, I'm going to select the term on the target side. And because it already exists in the translation, I'm going to right click and select View Edit. And once again, simply paste the Portuguese term in, click the plus icon to add the new term, and click OK. And then the Portuguese will be added to the existing entry. And here we see the English, the Portuguese, and down below the German. Okay, here in segment 29, I see a term that I'd like to add. Um, that would be the term for health risk. I'll go ahead and select that on both the source and target side. Now, in this particular case, I don't want to add this to the client's proprietary term base. I simply want to add this to the term base for my general terminology. That one is ranked number two. And the way that I can add that particular term base is to use a specially defined keyboard shortcut. In this particular case, on my system, term base number two can be written directly to by holding down the control key, the shift key, and pressing F2, which corresponds to the second term base. And here you can see on the right-hand side the term that's been entered now. Okay, it's there in English and in Portuguese. And I'm going to make a small change here because I can see that there's a problem with the plural. Okay, now let's have a look at those keyboard shortcuts that I was talking about. The way you can do that is by looking at the memo queue options in the quick access toolbar at the upper left. So we'll click on options. And there we find the keyboard shortcuts. Now I've got my own special keyboard shortcut definition, which I'll take a look at. The keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to show to you are possible as of MemoQ 2015 or version 7.8 and in all versions after that. And once you define your custom keyboard shortcuts, every time you upgrade MemoQ, those special keyboard shortcuts that you've defined continue to be active on your system. They're not overwritten by the installation of a newer version of MemoQ. So let's click on Edit and have a look at those keyboard shortcuts. OK, now here under the global shortcuts, you see a series of commands related to the term bases. Add term to term base ranked 1, ranked 2, term base ranked 3, 4, on down to the ninth ranked term base. So you can define keyboard shortcuts to write to up to nine term bases that are attached to your project. So for example, if you're doing an annual report translation and you find both business terminology and legal terminology, and maybe it's for a healthcare company, so there's also some medical terminology, if you see terms that belong in one of those specific term bases that you do not want to have in the other term bases, you can use this keyboard shortcut feature to write those terms specifically to that term base. So what we've seen here are three different ways that we can 
add terms and modify those would be by right clicking on an existing term and choosing view or edit which allows us to add synonyms or make uh, modifications to the existing term entries or as we've seen here add terms in a language that's not represented yet in that term base entry we can also use the term addition commands in memo queue to automatically write the term to a pre-selected list of term bases and we can use the keyboard shortcuts that are defined in the memo queue options in order to write a selected term into a specific term base.